What's up guys? So we've got some information on a brand new game mode that's coming to Apex. Well, two new game modes that are coming to Apex and a whole bunch of other stuff that you guys are probably going to want to know about, including several updates that came to the game this last week that weren't mentioned in the patch notes. First off, let's talk about the new collection event that we're getting. It's called the Void Reckoning Collection Event. Thanks to Hypermist on Twitter, we know everything that we're going to be getting in the collection event. I got to say, at first glance, these skins look pretty sick. They got this like medieval knight theme going on with this like void slash galaxy look. And honestly, most of them turned out pretty Pretty good that's pretty much where the good news about this collection event ends because it's going to run you anywhere from 16,400 to 17,500 apex coins in order to unlock the entire event and even though half of the event is legendaries according to the screenshots that we've seen it's only going to be about a 22 percent chance to even open a legendary so you're probably going to open up a ton of epics and stickers and banners that you don't care about before you get one of the skins that you actually like. Let me know if you guys are planning to pick up any of these skins from the event, what you think about it, because honestly, I think they look pretty good, but I probably am not going to be picking up the whole collection event. I'm not a Newcastle player, and that's the last skin that you get if you unlock the whole event. Okay, next, let's talk about some of the things that were added to the game after this last update that they didn't mention in the patch notes. Bangalore got a brand new heirloom inspection where she pulls out her smoke launcher. It's pretty cool, but... I mean, they just keep nerfing her, so I guess it's the least they could do. Okay, Vantage actually received a pretty significant buff. Echo's movement speed got increased by about 50%, and you can notice in this clip that Echo is able to quickly move from point A to point B, and I think this is going to make it a lot less frustrating when you're playing Vantage and Echo's behind you and you need to relocate and jump in front of you. So... A pretty significant buff overall for the character. Ash had her ultimate range increased from 65 to 75 meters. I'm going to be honest, guys. I was an avid Ash hater before the perks came out. I didn't like her. I thought she was boring. But since the release of the perks and them slowly buffing her and making her better, I might have to start playing her a little bit. And the last update that was added that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes is they actually increased the rate at which Watson regenerates her shields now. All right, let's talk about these new game modes that are coming out. So the first one is Big Team Deathmatch. In traditional Apex Deathmatch fashion, you're going to pick your legend, pick your loadout, and you're going to go head-to-head, -head, 12 versus 12, and you're going to play to the score, which is probably going to be like 100 or like 125 or something. I'm not really sure. It sounds kind of chaotic and fun, so it might be cool. If you can invite a ton of friends to go load up and go play, I think it'll be really neat. If you're stuck only being able to invite, you know, two people or, you know, three people if quads is still in, then... I think it's going to be a little less appealing. You know, you just have more variable with like random teammates that are going to quit randomly in the middle of the game. So I don't know how great it'll be at that point, but it sounds like it could be cool. We're definitely going to check it out. The next game mode is pretty interesting because after the last update, there were some new files found that hint towards an OG Apex Legends game mode coming out. Fortnite just recently also released an OG version of the game with the OG weapons, OG map, and it was a hit. Everybody's been loving it, and I've only heard good things about it. So I think, you know, maybe Apex is trying to follow suit and kind of implement something similar. Rumors suggest that it'd be going back to the OG map, and then we'd be getting original versions of the weapons, like the Havoc with the Select Fire, the Prowler with the Select Fire, and you'd even have the Wingman with heavy ammo. What do you guys think about an OG Apex Legends game mode? Like, what, do you think that the game has progressed too far that it wouldn't be fun anymore? Or would you like to see a game mode where you get to go back and experience Apex how it was in like season two or season three? Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video and you want to help support, do me a favor, tap that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.